A Mississippi snorkeler went underwater and what he found, well, have, well, have you speechless. <laughs> 12 News' Sienna Reeve shares what that swimmer found while at Gulf Shores in Alabama. Sienna? Under the sea, they say that's where treasure lies, and well, this treasure isn't gold, but it's definitely worth the find. Aaron Wellborn suited into his gear and went snorkeling. 20 to 30 yards off the shore, he met Oz with pearly white teeth. They were pearly whites. They were clean. <laughs> they didn't have any like, what was odd to me, they had any like poly grip or anything on them. Like, they were like, they looked brand new. They looked brand new. On a mission to collect seashells for his wife, Blair, he surprised her with something rare. I go up to her and I'm like hiding them. <laughs> Like, so she can't see them. Cause I've been looking for like big shells for her. So I'm like, close your eyes. I'm like, you're not gonna believe what I found. I'm so excited. So she closes her eyes and I drop them in her hand and she opens her eyes up and it was not a shell. <laughs> <laughs> I freaked out. Her smiling at her. Dentures worth nearly $2,000 with the name in green Randy Williams on it. So their quest began to return it to its owner. I was like, I'm going to find this guy. You know, there's somebody out there like, you know, they're going to want these back or I would want them back. And so I was like, you know, kind of funny on Facebook, like, hey, look, if you know Randy Williams has this, got this dentures, let me know because I got his. They found Randy, a Wisconsin resident who visited the beach seven days before the couple found his teeth. What are the odds that we find we find Randy, but we also find his teeth in the ocean a week later after he lost them. So I was like, this is never going to happen again. We have to make the most of this. And so the Dentures Adventures was born. <laughs> Instead of a party of two, it was now a party of three. We took them to Krispy Kreme. We took it to <laughs> Chick-fil-A. We, we sunbathed on the beach. Yeah, you know, built a sandcastle and put them in it. Like all kinds of cool in the stuff. pool. All the things we did, the teeth did with us. After the adventure, they shipped the dentures more than 800 miles away with a note. So she wrote this four page letter of a, a perspective from Basically the dentures. Basically, the dentures story um, of the whole week from the point that they were separated from their dad, Randy, and until we found them, and then the whole week, all their adventures that they had been on, the teeth told the story back to Randy. And a warning. And in the story, it says to please, please forgive him if um, his teeth, when he puts them back in, if they give him a southern accent <laughs> because they've been hanging out with people that say y'all like every other word. <laughs> so it's been really fun. Randy also promised to send a photo to the couple once his teeth are in his possession. Now, if those teeth could talk, I'm pretty sure they would definitely say a mouthful about their journey. Randy and the couple are also planning to meet in person and vacation together next year at Gulf Shores. Byron, Melanie, back to With you. With the teeth. <laughs> With the teeth. Yeah. So they'll be smiling. Saying y'all. <laughs> yeah,